Before we begin, if you have not heard about the beauty of the city of Paris, the capital of the French Enlightenment, it is the city of love and beauty, and it is the city of revolution and renaissance, as they say, and more, and for me. I could only imagine it as if it were a piece of paradise. The first moments I spent in Paris are unforgettable. One of the most prominent things that caught my attention was the Eiffel Tower's geometric shape, its height, and the visitors who approached it from every angle. In this regard, today our episode will be about all the engineering facts that you do not know about the Eiffel Tower. Before we begin, we would like to remind you to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to receive all new updates. The Eiffel Tower is one of the most important landmarks in history, and the most visited place in the world, in addition to being the tallest building in the French capital, Paris. It has 7 million visitors annually, and its construction began in January 1887, and was completed after only two years and two months on March 31, 1989. History of the Eiffel Tower the tower was built in 1889 A.D. by engineer Gustav Eiffel. The tower was officially opened on May 6, 1889. That year, the World's Fair received millions of visitors. A large number of them, specifically 1,953,122, had come to see the Eiffel Tower. In its first week, even before the elevators were activated, about 30,000 visitors climbed to the top of the tower, using the 1,710-step staircase. Seeing Paris from the top of the tallest tower in the world was an amazing thing at that time, and the high height did not prevent these visitors from having this unique experience. Designer of the famous French capital tower, Gustave Eiffel Gustav Eiffel's company specialized in building metal structures and frames, and he is credited with establishing many works in Europe. We mention, for example, the Garabet Bridge in France, and the Budapest train station in Hungary. But it crossed the borders of the European continent and reached America. He built the metal structure of one of the most famous monuments in the world, the Statue of Liberty in New York, USA. Gustav Eiffel, the engineer responsible for building the tower, expected that 500,000 visitors would visit the tower annually, but reality exceeded his expectations. In the first year of its opening in 1889, visitors to the tower approached 2 million. While in 2005 this number jumped to 6 million, until the tower received annually approximately 7 million visitors from various countries of the world. While the number of people who visited the tower is estimated since its opening until today. This is approximately more than 250 million people. So, the Eiffel Tower is surrounded by distinctive landmarks on several levels, including geographically, that is, in the same surrounding area, and historically, that is, in close periods of time. The genius of its maker is not hidden from anyone, with all the facilities he built and the achievements he achieved. The importance of the Eiffel Tower lies in the fact that it has become a symbol of technical skill, a representation of French engineering in the late 19th century, and a distinctive edifice of the industrial era. But when it was built, it was only intended to remain erect for 20 years. However, the scientific experiments that he encouraged extended his life and made him of great importance beyond the field of tourist attraction. Excerpt from Inside the Eiffel Tower The modern Eiffel Tower is an architectural miracle of 108 floors, in which there are two large restaurants, the very expensive Jules Verne restaurant, with one Michelin star, according to the restaurant rating. A very good restaurant, and a simpler one, Le Tour Eiffel with traditional French cuisine, about 65 euros per person for a modest dinner. The restaurant's large windows offer views of Trocadero Square. Both the first and second restaurants are considered some of the most romantic places in the world. This is the dream of many lovers, to spend an unforgettable evening in the shadow of the Eiffel Tower. However, you need to book a table in restaurants, respectively, at least a month and two weeks in advance. The Connection Between Architecture and the Eiffel Tower 
Before its construction, the Eiffel Tower did not receive much popularity in the artistic community. An iron tower 300 meters high would not have been considered art at that time, as it was the result of the work of engineers and architects. On February 14, 1887, after the construction of the tower had already begun following the signing of engineer Eiffel's agreement with the state in the city of Paris, according to which he was granted the rights to the site for a period of 20 years. Then, protests by a group of artists broke out on the front pages of Le Temps, which was one of the most famous newspapers at the time. Among the 40 artists who signed the protest was the composer Charles Gounod, and the writer, Guy de Maupassant, and the artists, William Bouguereau, and, Ernest Meissonnier. Even the architect Charles Garnier, who designed the Paris Opera, participated in the protests that defended the beauty of the city of Paris. There were fears that the construction of this useless tower, as they put it, would pollute the heart of the capital and threaten its history and art. They went so far as to attack the engineer Eiffel, calling him a machine builder and accusing his project of bringing shame to the city of Paris which risks giving up its beauty in exchange for irreparable ugliness. As part of their protest, the opposing opinions of artists would not have discouraged the engineer Eiffel. Rather, he confronted their protest by emphasizing the aesthetics of the tower. He went on to compare it with the pyramids of Egypt, which, if we strip them of their artistic and historical value, turn into artificial masses of dirt. Some Amazing Facts About the Eiffel Tower The tower consists of 18,038 pieces of iron and 2.5 million nails, and weighs a total of 10,000 tons. It is based on four columns, forming a base with an area of 15,625 square meters. The Eiffel Tower contains three sections designated for visitors and tourists. The first floor is located at an altitude of 57 meters from the surface of the ground, with an area of about 4,200 square meters and can accommodate about 3,000 people at the same time. It has a circular cabin surrounding the first floor, allowing a 360-degree view of Paris. The tower consists of stairs with a total of 1,665 steps, and they are only permitted to be used up to the second floor. The Eiffel Tower was painted in three different shades of paint, with the darkest shade at the base, the medium shade in the middle, and the lightest shade at the top of the tower. The second floor is located 115 meters from the ground, with an area of approximately 1,650 square meters, and can accommodate approximately 1,600 people at the same time. On this floor, the view is of high quality and you can go up to the second floor using stairs. The third floor is located at an altitude of 275 meters from ground level, with an area of 350 square meters, which can accommodate 400 people at the same time. Access is only available via an escalator. In order to preserve the tower from rust, a periodic maintenance process is carried out every seven years in which 50 tons of paint are consumed. And it takes a period of 15 months or more until it is completely completed. Maintenance is carried out manually by 25 trained workers using 1,500 paint brushes. The tower played an important role in the Allied victory in the First Battle of the Marne, in 1914, as one of the tower's transmitters interfered with German radio communications, hindering their advance. The height of the tower at the time of construction was 300 meters, 984 feet. Then the flag was added to it in the same year, bringing its height to 312 meters, 1024 feet, but after adding the broadcast antenna on its top. The total height of the tower became 324 meters, 1063 feet. It was considered one of the tallest buildings in the world, but it is no longer so. The tower was used for purposes such as conducting scientific experiments, such as weather experiments, free fall objects, and atmospheric monitoring.
Engineer Gustav Eiffel engraved the names of 72 engineers on the tower's structure, who were among the most famous architects of that period. The entire tower is illuminated at night with dazzling lights. Paris, where the Eiffel Tower is located, boasts its main attraction. Magnificent views, fantastic restaurants and breathtaking heights when visiting the majestic structure. For many years, the tower was the tallest architectural masterpiece in the world. And for 40 years it held the throne of the tallest tower in the world. These magnificent wonders of the world leave an unforgettable experience. The tower is considered one of the most important symbols of France and represents French values and culture. From a technological standpoint, the tower is considered one of the most beautiful architectural masterpieces in the world. We have summarized all the facts related to the Eiffel Tower and we hope that the information will be simple and useful for you. Before the end of the video, we must remind you to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to receive all our news. If you like the video, do not hesitate to like us. We will see you in the next video.